The main character insults a robot for being nice. Oh, hello. Hey, what's the golem doing on the bus? Ma'am, I'll be happy to serve as your driver. I want to assure you that I'm fully capable of operating this vehicle. I don't mean that you have software, of course. You lack uh -huh. the paperwork, but I don't need any. Yeah, I'm not going to be mean to it. I don't know if there's a way through, though. Don't touch me. Hey. What was that? That machine is not coming near us. A and look, there's only one option. Like, you only have one option, apparently. Don't touch me. It's, it's so... I, I wonder... Man, can you imagine being in a relationship with a person who liked this game? Can you imagine how exhausting and stressful that would be? They took it, this game so seriously. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, because you know exactly the kind of person that's like this, right? That, like, has, like, these immediate, like, fly-off-the-handle moments out of nowhere. It's like, yeah, like, everything's going fine, everything's going fine, you have a normal conversation with them, and then out of nowhere, everybody's like, what the fuck? Even, even her friends were like, what the hell is going on here? Isn't this game isn't satire? I don't think it is. That's what's so crazy. It's not even satire. It's nuts. Probably wrote by some oh, and pissed off about AI taking your job. Wait a minute. Wait, no, I think you're totally right. I actually don't think this has anything to do with, yeah. This has everything to do with the fact that the AI, it's an AI. It. So it's somebody who hates AI. I don't know through, though. Don't touch me. Hey. I really should what play this that? game. Honestly, I should. Because you aren't thinking of woke brain rot. It was definitely thought it was a good concept. I guess so. Yeah, maybe it's people that were like rightfully afraid and mad about AI. What's this here? Since these guys celebrate, it's really depressing because games like Dustborn are made to tell a unique story from lesser heard voices in the industry. Has it ever occurred to you that the reason why somebody is a lesser heard voice is because nobody wants to listen to them? We've learned how to cancel someone. Cancel will allow us to isolate people from their friends and compatriots in battle. You've been canceled. It's like a quick time event to say somebody's a racist. Like, to me, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, I, I look at games like this, and I know for a fucking fact that this game, the people that are working, well, actually, you know what? I don't even want to get into that. Let me actually look and see. They made a statement about this game. I want to pull it up on Twitter right now. But yeah, a lot of people didn't hear those voices in the game because they just simply didn't like that audience, you know? Or sorry, they just simply didn't like that, uh, that, type, of, uh, that type of person. Yeah, robot is touching me, Kek W. Yeah, of course. So, here we go. Let's take a look at this. Um, right, here we go. So, this was a statement that was made by the people that made Dustborn. That's right. Since we first announced Dustborn, we've read your comments and listened to your feedbacks, hopes, and wishes for the game. Over the past four years, our team has poured our hearts into telling a story that's deeply meaningful to us. A story about the power of words, about building a world where everyone can feel safe, about love, friendship, and robots, of course. Well, like, what about robots? Because, like, I feel like th this was kind of a negative thing about robots. That's like saying, never mind, let's move on. Um, anyway, uh, we expected to, it's, I was going to make a Civil War joke, you know, but we, we're not going to, we don't need to do that right now. Um, we... We expected uh, Dustborn to spark conversation and debate. We looked forward to engaging with our players in a positive and constructive fashion. Unfortunately, that conversation has been drowned out by a tidal wave of hate and abuse. We welcome thoughtful feedback and respectful criticism. We embrace discussion and debate, but we have zero tolerance for hate speech, harassment, and threats of any kind. Those who tolerate in such behavior will be removed from our community. Trust me. Num like, I don't know, what can I say, like, they were never in your community, what community, nobody wants to be in it anyway, um, you know, people disagreeing with you is in hate speech, like, I, I don't know, like, I, I could, there's like four, there's four different, I think, relatively good options, like, responses here, uh, I don't know which one we can go with, we could easily decide, but anyway, uh, those who engage in such behavior will be removed, to everyone else, thank you for coming on this journey with us. Your support means everything. Your constructive feedback continues to push us to learn and evolve. Let's continue building a world where everyone can feel valued and empowered to share their stories. 
Well, you were empowered. You got money from the government to share your stories. You did. And so they made this, and, and of course, obviously, I mean, this goes without saying, but this post was made where nobody is able to reply to the post at all, so they can't have any response in any capacity, which is not really a big surprise. I would have expected that. Surely they won't double down if given the opportunity. Oh, they absolutely would. And the thing is that these are the same kinds of people that would go and call you a bad person for liking a video game that they don't like. Uh, so no, I don't really have any sympathy for these types of people. Are you retarded? These are literally your gameplay mechanics. So these are the mechanics of the game. We've learned how to bully people. Bully gives us the people, gives us the power to force people to do something they may not want to do, or to make them feel bad about themselves. In fights, this could be highly effective on targeted enemies. Target enemies, oh, I guess like a target, like for example, like if somebody is in a wheelchair, it's easier to bully them because like you could just get on like a rock or up a flight of stairs and be like, hi, you can't get me. Like I'm winning now, right? So like it, there's a lot of ways, like let's say somebody's on crutches, you can push them over easily. Somebody's really fat, you can, you know, like run them out of energy. There's a lot of ways you can bully somebody and it's effective. Absolutely. So true, true, true. Um, now, is this what's going to happen in this game? Probably not. Cancel. We've learned how to cancel someone. Cancel will allow us to isolate people from their friends and compatriots. In battle, this could be useful against a useful tool against enemies. We've learned how to normalize negative emotion. Nor no normalize negative emotion. Nor uh, normalize gives us the ability to make people think of certain behaviors and feelings are normal. But I'm not sure how much for us this will do for in a how much this will do for us in a fight. And then the final one, we've learned how to sow Discord. Discord gives us the ability to turn people against each other. We could be we could be useful both when we're talking to people and when we're fighting enemies. I don't know why. Like some of the the, the English in this is just it's it it doesn't it's hard for me to read. I, I don't know. Am I, am I the only person that's like this? Like I I don't know. Sometimes whenever I read certain like word combinations, yeah, it, it's. It, 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 it's it's hard to hard to read for some reason. It's made by Norwegians. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Games are supposed to be about a fantasy. Well, this is a fantasy. Well, it's actually not a fantasy. This is what happens in real life every single day on Twitter. I've seen this person on Twitter. Yeah, she has like three different profiles. But yeah, it's unbelievable, man. Uh, I don't know. Content's content, but I wish Asma didn't give this game the time of day. It's straight garbage. I think that's why I'm giving it the time of day, is because y here's the problem, right? Is that you have a lot of companies and people, like for example, PC Gamer, Dustborn devs call out the tidal wave of hateful abuse that's engulfed the game. Those who engage in such behavior will be ruined our community. I can guarantee you, PC Gamer will not have any actual criticism of the game. That it's perpetuating stereotypes that are harmful, hostile, and the characters are unlikable. Let's go ahead and read the article and see if they talk about that at all. Dustborn is an all history uh, Americana road trip, wears politics on its sleeve, of, outqua of outcast queers and exploited workers fighting fascist cops to smash corporate drones while navigating new and evolving relationships. So, it's also attracted considerable cultural wars backlash, was seen in various user reviews, YouTube videos, Reddit videos, where you'll see the word woke be used a lot. There's also a lot of non insignificant amount of glee over Dustborn's apparent. Uh, apparent modest launch deals. I, I feel like it's not really apparent, is it? I, I I don't know. I think we pretty much know it. And so, yeah, there we go. And frankly, the pathetic eagerness some people have to grave dance on games they don't like. They do. And by the way, do you remember whenever these, uh, these websites were writing these articles that were, like, trying to be negative about Stellar Blade? And about, like, people losing, like, Pal World, losing players, and people not wanting to play Pal World anymore. Like, uh-uh. These, like, never be sad to celebrate the loss of a person that's trying to beat you. Absolutely. Like, I, I am the kind of person, like, you guys know this about me. I can be a gracious winner, but I can also be so toxic. I'm so toxic. And I love it. I do. I love it. And that's exactly it. They were shitting on Elden Ring. Yes. Uh, ten days after Dustborn launch, Red Thread has had enough of it. We expected Dustborn to spark parts of conversation. 
Uh, Follow-up statement to PC Gamer. Red Thread said Dustborn is a game that emphasizes the power of words and the importance of building an inclusive society where everyone belongs. Well, if the power is building an inclusive society, then why is every mechanic about excluding people? I don't understand what the reasoning here is. So let's go back. We're going to read the rest. This is this is the final statement this person writing the article has made. Um, understandably, of course, there are limits to inclusion, but people who insist on being persistent dickholes because a video game character uses gender-neutral pronouns are going to find themselves on the outside. Um, I, it is amazing to me that these people actually think that the majority of the population thinks gender neutral pronouns are normal. This is like a super small fraction of people on the internet that think this is normal. And if you go to Walmart and you go to Target, and especially if you go to someplace like Cabela's, you're not going to have anybody that even knows what the fuck that is, let alone cares about it. The idea that this is, yeah, Latinx, like, what are we fucking talking about? They, they are on the outside. The outside of what? Like, a very, very loud minority. Yeah, it's an extremely loud minority. But people that are using gender-neutral pronouns, this is, like, I, I would assume that... Let me see if there's a way to look at it. I'm trying to find some of these. There's, like, some studies that have been done on it. It's at 38%. 35% of people would be comfortable if it was okay. 40% would be uncomfortable. 23% would say it wouldn't matter. Yeah, more in the U.S. may know someone is transgender. It's very hard to say. Um, let me see here. Feel about gender neutral. These are mostly 2022. Yeah, I have to find a newer version of it. There is one from 2019 that says that people are okay with it. More people are okay with it. But um, the, everything else says there's not. So it's hard to say. Kamala Harris has pronouns in her Twitter bio and she's authentic? I guess so. But anyway, let me go back and I'm going to read the rest of these. Either way, the idea that gender-neutral pronouns are normalized in society is absolutely insane. And the only people that think that are people that never leave their house and only go on Twitter. Uh, this is not something that normal people think about, and this is not something that I think a lot of normal people accept. This is a highly Twitter-focused issue, and if you think that this is not like that, please go outside for just a little bit. So yes, do you leave your house? Even I don't leave my house that much, and at least I know this. I do. Um, we always welcome constructive input. I'm curious if you're curious about Dustborn as a game, uh, not as a pawn in online culture wars and stupidity, but not ready to commit. Demo is available on Steam. So basically what we have here is a person who has not acknowledged or looked at any sort of criticism that the game has had. They've hand-waved all types of criticism, they haven't even talked about it, and they end their article with an advertisement about the game. They are advertising the game at the end of it. So yes, when I see an article like this, and I see people that put this stuff out there, um, I'm sorry to say, but yeah, I absolutely am gonna shit on it. 100%. Yeah, it's not just Twitter, pronouns are a thing where I work, I work in healthcare, and it's about creating a safe space for everyone. The only reason why companies do that is because HR doesn't want to get sued. That's the only reason why companies do it. It's not because people actually support it. It's just because companies are, are risk adverse to having any sort of like uh, any sort of lawsuit at a company. Like, don't act like these. Do you think these companies really care about like gender neutral pronouns when they're selling things in Saudi Arabia? Of course, they don't actually care about this. Like, they're just doing it to make sure that they're compliant with laws and they're being overprotective. That's it. Administration uh, heavily pushes the inclusion stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. All I'm saying is that I think it's very much a minority view. And so, yeah. Gender neutral pronouns have been around forever. I think you're confusing it with exp people explicitly stating they would prefer to identify as gender neutral pronouns. Yeah. No, um, and I, you're right, and that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. You're absolutely right. If I didn't make that clear, that's my bad. Um, either way, yeah, so this happened, and, um, a lot of people are obviously very happy about this game failing. Uh, I think this is a very good thing that it failed. Um, it's a huge, massive positive. Um, uh, hopefully more games like this do continue to fail. Uh, when every single one of these games does fail, I will be there to celebrate it. Uh, we will be dancing on the graves, we'll be holding a party, and we'll be having a lot of fun. And so, uh, that's about it. Um, I, I, I don't really have any sympathy for these people. Uh, in fact, I have the opposite. I actually quite enjoy the fact that they're upset. And, uh, I think the fact is that they would do the same thing to me if they had the chance. So that's why I think this, uh, that's why I think this way. And I know it might sound like kind of an asshole opinion to have or something like that, but uh, that's really the way I feel about it. That's what I think. And uh, yep, there is their studio message. Uh, that's what other people have been saying too. And uh, Dustborn is dead.
There we go. Party on Aspen's grave. Oh, if I died tomorrow, people on Twitter would be celebrating. They would be so happy. They would be like, thank God. Thank God he's finally dead. Absolutely they would be. Yes. And, and so they would cheer. So no, I, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't really think that it's, it's not a, something that people would afford to me. So I would afford them, to, uh, afford that to them. Like, I'll give you an example. So I recently posted a photo here. This was crazy. 15 million views. Look at the post engagements here. Look at this. Seeing people say Resident Evil 7, but the sink from Resident Evil 7 is somehow cleaner. It actually is. That act that is actually wow. 105k. This is the kind of sink you'd interact with. Yeah, people actually people people thought that it was fake. They started looking it up. Don't want Twitter bro when bro, do your push-up? Yeah, yeah, sure. You're fine not that. I try hard. These are bro, this is crazy. When the shrink ray gets invented and me and the boys get hired to take out the roach infestation in Asmongold's PC. <laughs> there we go, bro. What the fuck? How do you look like this? I just don't look at it. And um, anyway, and you somehow uh, don't know why uh, you feel better when you travel. No, I do know why. That's the whole conversation whenever I brought it up. But yeah. And anyway, uh, this man doesn't deserve a drop of fame. Um, is this a- is this a streamer? My- is Overwatch 2. <laughs> Jesus. Um, is this- Yeah, 80, 80 k likes. Oh my god. Wow. Botted views. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. Another person who- oh, this is- a, Here's the thing. Listen. Is this guy a streamer? Cause like, search him on Twitch Tracker? Yeah, is he a streamer? Like, I, I don't even know, like... Cause he seems like he has like a Midas underscore Overwatch. This seems like a streamer name, but maybe not, no? Yeah, I have no idea. Well, anyway, um... Some psycho shit. I guess so. And so, um, definitely your biggest fan. Time to start charging rent? I know. He's just a reply guy on Twitter. Here's what's so crazy to me about this. This man has another one. Oh my god. Oh, this <laughs> it's what about uh, you know, kind of close, but not there. It looks like that's that's been basically all of them. I, I guess. So basically, he had a couple of tweets about me that did really well. Like, you know, this one got 15k likes. This one got 70 likes. Then we have another one. I'm in class. It got 1.3k. Oh, that one's not so good, okay? Then he stopped posting about me. As one fans in replies, agreeing with his false statement is the funniest shit ever. Oh, I didn't even say this? I don't remember if I said this. I don't even know. Yeah. He's farming. Well, here's the thing, right? Is that people have to do this for Twitter money. They really do. And I find it to be kind of funny to see it happen.